Rebbe Elimelech is actually a very complicated story that has a beautiful ending. It uh, actually mirrors the story of our people, although our story is not finished yet. To understand the Hasidic movement, you really have to go back a century. Beginning in the 18th century in Poland and Ukraine, the Jews suffered terribly and lived in dire poverty. There were the Chmelnitsky massacres, blood libels, communal taxes, head taxes, and then there were the false messiahs who converted out of Judaism, like Shabtai Tzvi and Jacob Frank. That period brought the Jewish people to a national depression. It's hard to imagine the situation getting any worse, and the future was absolutely dismal. So comes the Baal Shem Tov in the midst of all this, and he infused life into the people. And I love how this was portrayed in the movie. You can almost see him descending from the Carpathian Mountains. The Baal Shem Tov came in and literally breathed life back into the Jewish people. And the power of the movie is that you can literally feel him coming back into our world. He almost comes alive in the movie. It's so beautiful the way it's done. I've never seen Hasidim dance like that. Watching the movie and seeing the footage that Rabbi Tala managed to get of Hasidim dancing, I'm looking at this and says, how does this guy do it? How does he get such perfect pictures? What was the great light? There are so many renowned luminaries who are presented in the film, sharing their insights about the origins of the Hasidic movement and its legacy. Well, there's a story of a, about the Rebbe of Kotsk when he was a child, that a man once said to him, I'll give you this coin if you can tell me where Hashem is. And the young boy responded, I'll give you two coins if you can tell me where Hashem is not. Hashem is everywhere. Stories, beautiful stories. That has to be the heartbeat of what makes the Hasidic movement so special. They headed off for Lezhensk with Rebelli Melech at the head of the procession. In this movie, you actually join the Tele family in their Malava Malka and their Saturday night get together. And you feel you're part of it. You're listening to stories. The stories are heartwarming. The stories are real. The stories bring out the flavor of what Hasidus and Rebelli Melech was all about. And now, us, so many generations later, we don't know the formula. We don't even know the forest. So what do we have? The grandeur and the splendence and the eminence and the prominence of Al Shem Tov? We have plenty. We have the story, and the story takes us back. Reb Elimelech and Reb Zusha, the holy brothers as they were known, went into self-imposed exile. They would travel from village to village to persuade and inspire the people to desist from sin and return to their sacred roots. The story of Hasidus, and Rebellion Malach in particular, was really a revolution amongst the Jewish people, and of course it came with tremendous opposition. It would be human nature for people to fight back when you're attacked, but Rebellion Malach would never do such a thing. This is where the whole legacy of Adarabba, which he wrote, came out, that to see the good in others, and to not see their drawbacks, and to treat people as if, even strangers, as if they're part of your own family the power of every single Jew, just to see the beauty inside the person. That's Rebelli Melech's message, and this is something that comes out so beautifully in the movie. One time someone asked him, how is it possible to develop love for Hashem? Hashem is an abstraction. We can't see Him, we can't touch Him, we can't feel Him. How do you develop love for, for Hashem? He says, look, you work on developing a Havashi school. Other people who are around you they are real. You can see them, you can touch them, you can relate to them, and you develop a Havas Yisrael. And if you develop a Havas Yisrael, that will lead you to a Havas Hashem. The lesson and the message of the film is pure, unadulterated Avas Yisrael. Not that it's a lofty virtue or just some nice concept, but it's an absolute obligation. Rebelli Melech stressed the love of every single Jew. And with that, of course, was also taking care of people, looking out for the needs of the Jewish people. You fast forward to the 21st century, and we see all this explosion of all these beautiful organizations that take care of every single facet. In the film, we see how inspiring it is that there's so many ways to help other people. We have Camp Has, Camp Simcha, the Frinkemachim, Biker Cholim, Hatzala. It's so beautiful the way it was done in the movie, just to see the scenes of what's going on today and how everything is contrasted so naturally and beautifully with its source in the Hasidic story. I found that film to be educational, inspiring, 
It's even funny. What do I know about Rebbe Limela from the Jets? Is this for Shadokim? Because I try very hard not to talk about people except if, if it's for a Toelis, unless it's for a Toelis. He's... Are they going out yet or not? Because I don't want to ruin anything. If, you know, they form their own opinions. For a lot of people, when they think about the Hasidic movement, they're thinking about Hasidic music. And the movie really does that justice. There are many scenes in the movie which brings out the prettiness, the beauty, the joy of music. I'm thinking specifically there's one scene with a shepherd boy with his flute and he's playing along. It's such an adorable scene. This is something that brings out the beauty of Hasidic music in such a pleasurable way. I could see that the prayers of this shul had almost made their way to the high heavens, but they were lodged impenetrably at the gates. It was only the sincere and utterly pure blowing of the recorder that was able to hoist and transport all the prayers of this assembly into the portals of heaven. The music from this film is still stuck in my head. It's an unbelievable soundtrack that I actually would really like to have. It's as much a concert as it is a film. One of my favorite people has to be Rabbi Abish Bratz. His voice is something exquisite. It does not come from his vocal cords, it comes from his heart. And when he sings, it just envelops the whole room with his beauty and his love. And at the end of the movie, we see him doing a duet with the Rav Ram Fried. And listening to this, I was just simply getting the chills. It was so beautiful. It was such a wonderful, wonderful end to the movie. <laughs> This is the definitive work on Rebellion Melech. This is the definitive work on a central figure that is crucial to understanding what it means to be Jewish. There's so many lessons to learn. I really think everybody should see this. The movie was really just phenomenal. Doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are, this is a must see. I can't wait to get my students to come out and see it. And the message that it portrays is important and deep and it's really something that we absolutely need for our times. I enjoyed the movie, my wife enjoyed the movie, my kids enjoyed the movie. I'm looking forward to the time, hopefully soon, when my grandchildren will enjoy the movie.